Subscribe to the Bachelor's Recipes to get all our latest videos. In this video, we will learn how to make restaurant style masala dosa at home. For this recipe, we need an overnight fermented dosa batter, potatoes and onions in equal quantities, fennel seeds, turmeric powder, salt to taste, pepper powder, dried red chilies, mustard seeds, udad dal, yellow moong dal, and amchur powder. Here, amchur powder and fennel seeds play a vital role. They give that beautiful aroma and flavor to dosa. Let's get started. First, we need to cut all the potatoes in half and cook them for three whistles. The cooking time may vary depending on the quantity you take. Chop all the onions and keep them aside, we'll use them later in this video. Separate all the curry leaves from its stem and keep them in a small bowl. We'll need them later on. Once the potatoes are cooked, we need to peel off the skin and mash them into a fine paste just like this. Now let's start preparing the masala. For that, heat a tablespoon of cooking oil. Here I have used sunflower oil which is cholesterol free. Once the oil is heated, add mustard seeds and dry red chilies. Saute them. Add 2 teaspoons of fennel seed and let them release the flavor. Next, we need to add moong dal and udad dal. Here I have added cashew nuts. You can also skip this step or add chana dal instead. Saute them for a while and add the curry leaves which we plucked earlier. Once they have turned light brown, we can add our chopped onions. Remember we need not to turn these onions brown, just cook them for, for a while until they are soft and pink. To speed up the process, we can add 3 quarter teaspoon of salt. Next, we need to add a teaspoon of turmeric powder. It will give the beautiful yellow color to the masala. Saute everything for a while. To enhance the flavor, I added one more teaspoon of fennel seeds. At this point, I added one and a half teaspoons of amchur powder. It gives the beautiful aroma and flavor to the masala. To spice it up a bit, I added three quarter teaspoons of pepper powder. At this point, we can add our mashed potatoes into the masala. But see, the consistency is very thick and this is not how masala should look like in a dosa. To smoothen up the consistency, we will add some water to this. And mix everything well. See how smooth it's getting. In the end, our masala should look like this. Our masala is prepared so now we can start making our dosas. Here I am using a non-stick dosa tawa. I sprinkled some water to normalize its temperature. It's placed on high flame. Once its temperature is really high, I added a katori full of dosa batter. And using the same, I spread it evenly in concentric circles. Timing is the key here. It requires a bit of practice but it's really easy to master. Once tiny holes starts appearing, we can add oil or ghee or butter, whichever is your preference. I have used cholesterol free cooking oil. Now we can gently press it with the help of spatula to get even browning throughout the surface. After that, we can spread our masala onto it evenly. Once it's completely cooked, we can fold it into half. That's 
so first those are i will share two more in this video see how beautiful it's looking this is the second one i poured some batter on to tawa spread it evenly in concentric circles with the help of the same katori gave it some time to form tiny holes once you see tiny holes we can apply oil or butter onto it let it brown for a while and using spatula we can press it gently add some masala onto it and spread it into a thin film in this dosa i'm showing a both side fold see that's how we just have to fold it from both the sides there we go Here is my third shot. You can see in close up how to make the concentric circle. See, nice and fast. You don't have to over stress it. Just be gentle and fast. If you enjoyed this video please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to get all our latest videos in your notification thanks for watching